We're going to be doing some testing today from Circle 10 AK products and one of the things I've really been wanting to get is an extended charging handle to go on the standard AK. I like to have a little more beef uh, when I'm pulling back. Uh, this is just your standard slant muzzle brake which was on the RES 47 from Century Arms AK. It's an all American made AK but the great thing about these two muzzle brakes is that they are US made and these are from CRH Customs AK. Uh, this is the uh, compensator and actually they make a or a muzzle brake and this is uh, a titanium version which is really nice a lot of really nice ports on this they also make this in a steel version uh, which weighs about 9.1 ounces this weighs 4.2 ounces so it's a really lightweight even though it's large this is going to be really effective and of course we're going to take it out to the range and find out um, then we have the flash hider and this is also from CRH uh, custom AKs um, this is a flash suppressor it's a four prong suppressor uh, these are made for 14 and one left-hand threads for this AK, but they also make it in the 24 millimeter right-hand thread. The four-prong flash hider actually fits 7.62 and 5.56 and 5.45, uh, and so this is going to reduce the muzzle flash, not necessarily compensate, but this is going to be a muzzle brake compensator. So there's a couple of different things that we're looking at here uh, as far as effectability. And so, you know, it's according to what you want. If you want it just to really soft shooting at the range, uh, this is excellent. If you want something more for self-defense, uh, for, you know, hiding the, the flash, uh, this is a great option. The muzzle brake is really well done with the ports coming at an angle out of each side and then four point ports at the top. Uh, the bottom is uh, sealed and, of course, it does have U.S. Uh, 7.62 on here. So this makes it really nice for 922R compliant. Uh, it, it adds a part to your AK and so that helps it to be legal especially those that are imported. Now with the Century Arms RES it's made solely here in the US so that's not really a concern uh, but I do have other AKs that that does make a difference. It is three and a half inches in length uh, it does weigh uh, 4.2 ounces because it is titanium. Uh, the titanium version runs $99.95, the steel version runs $49.95. So that gives you more of an idea of the difference in price, but man is this thing light for its size. It is three and a half inches in total length, and titanium also uh, gives you a lot more heat reduction. The flash hider has four separate prongs, and as you can see, this diamond cut finish on it. I mean, it is really nicely done. Uh, and then you have your places for your detent to fit in, so it's really adjustable to wherever you want to put it. It has a black oxide finish, and again, it will fit any of your different calibers. Uh, they make this also in the 24 by 1 right-hand thread. This is the 14 by 1 left-hand, which is typical for AKs. It weighs 4.5 ounces, and it's 2.5 inches in length. The extended charging handle has a nice knurled finish all along. Uh, it is 1018 steel. It does have a set screw right here to put into place and then it fits. As you can see it has kind of an unusual shape to fit to the regular charging handle. It weighs just under two ounces at 1.9 ounces and it's an inch and a quarter in length. And these run $22.95 on the Circle 10 AK website. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded. And it is, uh, you can see the standard AK charging handle. It's thin, uh, it's easy to grab because it has this curve, but it can be kind of tough on the fingers. So adding the extended charging handle is really gonna allow for this, you to really get a secure grip. We're gonna apply some Loctite to the set screw just to make sure this stays securely into place. When attaching the extended charging handle, the hole goes toward the front, and that way it allows it to fit straight. Uh, if you do it any other way, it's going to be crooked, so it'll naturally go into the right position. My little Allen wrench was getting some interference with a handguard, so I just brought it back and locked it into place here so I could set it. Of course, with the Loctite, it should hold fine, but we're going to make sure we get it good and tight. Well, that's a much solid, more solid way to grab this thing. Now these are left hand threads and of course right here is this little detent that holds your muzzle brake into place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start screwing on the brake and of course it goes the opposite direction of what you would think. <laughs> and so we just go ahead and turn it. Uh, you can see the little area right here that goes into the detent. Now it's going to hit that detent once uh, before we set it.
As it comes around, you're going to see the detent click, and we're still not quite tight enough. So because this is recessed, we're going to have to push it with a little punch and get it around to the other side. And now we're into place. Uh, I went ahead and tightened it down one more time, but it was just too tight. It only went so far. So really, two clicks was what I got with my threads. In the steel version, it is in a black finish, so that makes it nice. You can't have this Cerakoted if you want, uh, because it does. Uh, it is a different color than your standard AK. But for this being just a muzzle brake, it's not necessarily important to do that. Unless you just want the look of the dark to match the rifle. So we're going to do a direct comparison with the slap muzzle brake and the comp. Uh, this is, again, titanium. It's really lightweight. It doesn't add anything to the rifle, but it does add length. The compensator definitely reduces recoil dramatically. Uh, whether it's on my shoulder, it keeps it low uh, than the slant muzzle brake. Uh, typically, the slant muzzle brake works fine, and I've used these for years. But really, to get it even more refined, I think that this slant muzzle brake is really making a big difference in recoil. It's kind of an overcast day, so I'm hoping to pick up some of the flash or the absence of the flash uh, with the four prong uh, flash hider. So we're going to check it out. Later on, I'm going to do some night shooting with this. I've got some other things to do. But for right now, we're just going to check it out and see how it does against the slant muzzle brake. Now you may have noticed some ringing with the four prong flash hider. Uh, I thought I did actually tighten it up a little bit, which may help even more, but it's still those four prongs or four forks, it makes it ring just a little bit. It's pretty low and I think the audio was picking it up a little stronger than it was, but it was ringing. As far as the flash hiding capability of the four prong brake, it was pretty inconclusive because it just wasn't dark enough. I mean, we weren't picking up any flash even with the slant brake which will generate some flash. So this is gonna be coming up, we're gonna be doing some testing um, in the dusk, late evening, and trying to get some, you know, just see how well it is effective. Um, I have some other brakes to test for the AR, so we'll be doing that as well. But so far, um, you know, there is more recoil with just the flash hider. Uh, the slant brake will cause the gases to come up into the right. So, you know, and which is typical for the AK-47. Now with the compensator we were getting, it was staying much flatter. Uh, it wasn't dipping down. And that's one of the things, because of the way the slant brake is made, it's made to fire the gases back this way and it deflects the gas coming to the left. And so it actually dips the rifle just a little bit. Uh, with the compensator, all the gases seem to shoot a lot flatter. And so uh, definitely, and even on the shoulder, you could feel it was just much more comfortable to shoot. Hopefully the video demonstrated it, but my shoulder definitely told me that the compensator was a huge difference uh, over the slant muzzle brake. But the extended charging handle was a huge success, period. Uh, I really enjoyed grabbing this. A lot easier to grab hold of than your standard charging handle. Uh, you know, it really just is smooth, easy to do, and uh, really easy to grab hold of. So I definitely, I mean, for the price of 22 bucks, this is a no-brainer to me if you would like to change this out, if you want something a little different. Um, and so I think that the charging handle is definitely a huge upgrade to the rifle. I want to thank Federal Premium for sending the 7.629 for the review. Uh, if it hadn't been for Federal Premium, there would have been a lot less shooting and a lot more talking. <laughs> the Circle 10 AK accessories, whether it's the muzzle brakes, compensators, flash hiders, or the charging handle extender, 
These are great products, really brings your AK-47 up to date or your AK-74 and really brings it into the 21st century. So I have to give the Circle 10 AK accessories a big thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. make sure the gun isn't loaded when placing the muzzle brake um, <clears throat> when placing the extended charging handle we're gonna go ahead and add some Loctite to the you know lower muzzle uh, 